I'm going to review the AFV Club Flugzeug Abwehr Kanone 28. This is essentially a German captured Bofors 40mm anti aircraft gun. So, AFV Club released the American Bofors 35163 in 2012, and then right after that, 35187, the British one. So, this would be the third one in the series. I assume it's nearly identical. Uh, in doing a little research for this, I found that there are some slight differences in the carriage and stuff, but for the most part, they're just you know, different versions of the same kit. Step one of the instructions, we're already getting into some pretty small details here. It looks like um, not that many pieces per little sub-assembly. I'm not going to try to identify these parts by very specific names as I don't do a ton of artillery, so um, you can just see that these look like they're parts of basically where the, the mounting for the wheels will go, uh, but there's only about two or three parts um, per little bit there. This sort of cruciform mount will go together as the first bit. So I know there's a large bottom and top half here. Some really small stuff goes on there. This is rather detailed just for this mounting. And there's a transport mode and a firing mode option. That's awesome. I don't know what vehicles would have been used to tow that since it was primarily captured, but I'm kind of interested in having it towed as more of an armor guy. So there's where it gets towed from, I believe. Actually quite a bit of small stuff on there. Yeah. Interesting looking mount though. Uh, kind of impressed with the overall level of detail. I think this will look pretty amazing when it's built up. This looks really easy to break. The wheels are done with actual rubber and I believe poly caps. So you've got sort of the rim and the rubber. So there'd be multi pieces to the rims as well. I've actually never done anything with these rubber wheels and I have a few Dragon kits with DS wheels as well, like the uh, half tracks, but um, I kind of like the look of the multi-piece styrene ones that go like, you know, in cross sections. So we'll see how I get along with these. Onto the gun. This looks an awful lot like a German 37mm anti-aircraft gun, which I am more familiar with. Uh, don't like that that's two halves, but I can get on with that. Now there's an actual spring in the barrel, similar to like how Dragon did their Tiger barrels. Not really sure how I feel about that. Probably wouldn't put it in there. Yeah, you know, not too much to this, but it looks correct. So more towards this gun platform. Larger pieces in this case, but um, they look very well kind of detailed from here, but we'll have to see how the parts look. Pretty simple in, as far as construction in this section though. Uh, more small stuff, probably an elevation wheel of some kind. Now we're getting the gun and the platform all together, these foot pedals. It looks really cool. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this one. So there's the seat. Um, final little bits going on to the gun parts. Mounting the gun onto the cruciform, either with the uh, firing mode or towing mode, telling us how to paint the ammo here. And then finally our marking options, body color, German gray or sand yellow. First thing I look at is the barrel. This is aluminum. It's very light, but it looks very nice. You can see that it's not hollow completely, but it should look fine once the inside of that's dark. Next we have four rubber wheels and by the look of it, some poly caps. It's odd because you've got six of this kind and one of this big kind. So I assume this is for some other part. And then here's our wheels. They are soft rubber. Detail on the wheels looks pretty good. I'm just not sure how I'll get on with this as I haven't done anything of this sort before. Not sure how well these hold paint versus hard styrene, which is what I prefer working with, even though this is more quote unquote correct. We also have this small spring that is meant for the gun. Now this is in a random sprue bag, so I almost lost it. So be careful if you have one of these. 
The first and only large sprue contains parts for like the elevation of the, the gun and the towing mechanism itself. This is the main body of the receiver right here. Lots of small little bits. Uh, fidelity looks good so far. So it looks like they have a slide molded plastic barrel as well. So I'm kind of impressed by that. I was not aware of that. So if you don't want to use the metal one, you can use this guy here. Not bad at all. Rest of the parts on here. The fidelity is quite good. Yeah, I can't really see anything bad about these parts. Pretty impressive. Some real small stuff, but it does look intact. I've heard very good things about their artillery stuff, and uh, I've seen people do some even recently. So I wanted to jump on something like a Pack 40 for a while, but this will have to do. This next sprue is missing a lot, or just doesn't have a lot on it. It's a very strange looking sprue. I'm sure they designed it this way for a reason. It does have a bit of a bow to it, which I don't think it should, but hopefully we can get on with it. Uh, there's some more parts for the cruciform and um, stuff I can't really identify. These are kind of thick though. Like, see on there? Like that thick. Detail on these parts is really nice. You got some fine little details popping out here. Again, this all looks good. This has a bit of a bow to it as the sprue does, but hopefully the piece that it sits down in won't be, so that won't be an issue. Just strange how much dead space there is in the sprue. The next sprue we have parts for the platform and sort of the rotating mechanism, as well as a bunch of more small parts. All the details in this stuff looks really, really nice. And all the small parts are very well made. No damage on stuff like that. The little outer bevel on this looks really nice too. Some very nice looking stuff. This sprue looks like the hubs for the wheels uh, and some seats. Detail on that looks really nice. Seat backs. That kind of interesting metal seat bottom. All oh, those holes look really good though. This sprue looks to be um, these sort of four round per clip Bofors ammo. And anything else that goes with it, so probably ammo boxes and stuff. Some nice looking stuff on there. Not much to look at here, but what's there looks all right. These look pretty cool. Then you have this, which has some more parts for the mount and then the pedals as well, I can see. A cool looking spring there. I've never seen anything like that before. Wow. That's very, very nice. So that's an actual metal spring. That is very impressive. Wow. We then have this sprue, which is some more smaller parts. I'm not really sure where they go. They're just barely hanging onto the sprue there. The last plastic we have is these two parts of what are the cruciform mount. Detail on both pieces is pretty good. Lots of rivets and details popping out everywhere. Really nice fidelity, very crisp, very well made. 
really impressive stuff. That'll be a great base. The last thing in the kit is just a couple of decals. I imagine they're marking for something uh, like ammo. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the look of the thing in the box. I I really like the look of their artillery because um, metal barrels, really fine parts. Some might say over-engineered, but I think they look pretty impressive. And this being sort of a captured in France, early war German kind of rarer piece, I like it quite a bit.